I mean, you could sum up the Pennsylvania debate between Dr. Oz, and yes, unlike the two local moderators, I'll call Dr. Oz a doctor, not mister. The Oz-Fetterman debate was over and done with in the first five seconds. Hi, good night, everybody. That's how he started. That's, that's the, those are his opening words. Hi, good night, everybody. And I, I, I almost clutched my chest. I thought, oh my gosh, that's how this debate is gonna start? Hi, good night, everybody. Yep, it was good night, Irene. It was over for him before it even began. And it just, it did get worse. And shame on the media pretending like this is normal. If John Fetterman had an R behind his name, all you'd be hearing right now is the absolute catastrophe of a debate last night. Now, remember Dasha Burns, the NBC reporter who a couple of weeks ago dared to point out that Fetterman has some major problems communicating and, and understanding communications? A fellow reporters went after her. Oh, he does just fine. He's fine. There's nothing wrong with him. How dare you, Dasha Burns? Well, they got to her. Listen to the way she reported on the disastrous debate performance of John Fetterman. This is this morning on NBC's Today Show. And Savannah, speaking to media after the debate, the Fetterman spokesperson said the campaign was thrilled with his performance, saying he won, quote, countless exchanges against Oz. And we asked the Oz spokesperson. I mean, I, I got to stop it right there. Thrilled with his performance and he won countless exchanges with Oz? Uh, that would be exactly like me saying, ladies and gentlemen, up is down and down is up. Because there wasn't a single exchange that even in the in your wildest, wildest imagination, you could say Fetterman won. You want to hear his answer on fracking? If you didn't see this debate, you better buckle in right now. Because this was an, nothing's edited here. This is unedited. This happened in real time last night on a debate stage in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Now, this is an important issue for Pennsylvanians. Western PA, they know all about the importance of fracking. Of course, Politically, Fetterman does too. There's only a little problem with that. He has said he's opposed to fracking. So the local debate moderators, well, they happen to ask him about the absolute flip-flop. In a 2018 interview, you said, quote, I don't support fracking at all. I never have. But earlier this month, you told an interviewer, quote, I support fracking. I support the energy independence that we should have here in the United States. So, Mr. Fetterman, please explain your changing position. 60 seconds. Uh, I've, I've always supported fracking. And I always believe that independence with our energy is, is critical. And we can't be held, you know, you know, ransom to somebody like Russia. You know, I've always believed that energy independence is critical, and I've always believed that, and I do support fracking. I've never taken any money from their, their, their industry, but I support how critical it is that we produce our own energy and create energy independence. I must correct the record. Uh, well, he uh, just a second, Mr. Oz. I do want to clarify something. You're saying tonight that you support fracking, that you've always supported fracking, but there is that 2018 interview that you said, quote, I don't support fracking at all. So how do you square the two? Oh, uh, I, I, I do support fracking and I don't, I don't, I support fracking and I stand and I do support fracking. Okay. Uh, imagine saying okay to that. Okay. I, I, if, and, and normal person would say, what did you say? Okay. 